Lola friend, uh, Dapper Drabby here. <laughs> Lag friend immediately, nice. Uh, sorry, should not be worried about that. Um, but welcome, welcome. Uh, we are beginning our uh, first round today that is of, um, we joined a tournament of uh, the win, the team win and in. We joined Team Winning In's uh, PTCGO tournament. We were able to get in. It's a 128 person tournament. Uh, and we were able to, to scoot in, get in there before it was uh, too full. So we wanted to play a deck to prepare for uh, North Atlantic uh, International. Uh, yeah, the NA NAICs. Um, I was thinking Dusk Main hard before Madison happened. And then Madison happened. And there's a major deck that completely trashes this. No pun intended, because I'm playing trash. Uh, so I was trying to figure out a way to to put something in to counter it. Um, I decided on something. I'm not definite about it. I didn't get to test it, really. But I think it's a good idea. But we're going to find out in these rounds, of course. These are best two out of threes. Um, I'm just waiting for my opponent to get signed on. We are in contact. Uh, I got permission from him to go ahead and record. Uh, but let me go ahead, and we'll see the uh, intro right now. So I always hope that that's not too loud. If it is, I think I just need to, uh, to bring in a new uh, file because it's just too loud. But I was able to get Team Winning In's graphic over here. They made that available to everyone. So I'm just doing this as a shout out to Team Winning In to thank them for holding the tournament um, and allowing me to be a part of it. So we are going back to probably what's known as our standard at this point, which is a, uh, a Dusk Main Necrozma deck. Um, we've been playing this pretty regularly uh, lately, uh, but this one has a few tweaks to it. Um, Celestila, of course, we love that for our Buzz Hole matchup because it has that fighting resistance uh, and it's proven is worth in many of these matches that I've already done with this deck or at least a similar build of it. Now I have diff four different decks that are kind of similarly based to this and I think they're all about like five and nine or something. This I think this one's actually three and six because I was testing, changing, testing, changing, testing, changing. Um, after watching my stream and uh, looking at it from a spectator's point of view, I was able to uh, think that I should probably have went in a different direction. I mean, I still probably could change it because um, I can submit a new deck list when I submit uh, the scores. But I think I'm going to stick with what I got, what I already decided on, and that is one Celestila GX. Um, sometimes you want more. Trust me, sometimes you just want more. We have the uh, Duskmane and the Krasma, the baby Duskmane, as people will call it. I love both attacks on this guy. Dust Shot, you know, it's great for those 190 HP mons. You just Dust Shot them, and then they only have 130 HP left. And hey, what do you know? Moon Press does 130 exactly. So in combination, these two are just like a perfect pair. Um, and then Rusty Claws is a last-ditch effort. If you can hit your max elixirs, I should say. Um, to be able to, you know, take those uh, those last bit knockouts to really to really put the game in your favor. Now we do have to watch out for ends. I will say that because that has hurt me as well. But here is the main attacker of the of the deck, or at least the bait and switch. We will usually sometimes just he's set up there with a couple energies on him. People are like, oh, I'm scared of Dusk Main. They take out Dusk Main. They knock him out. Well, guess what? They only have four prizes left. We go ahead and beast ring, beast ring our uh, Celestila or another Dusk Main, and they're hurting because they just they jump the gun to take this guy out because they don't want to have to deal with the Meteor Tempest, uh, even though it like discards all the energy. But I mean, it really it's saved me so many times just having him like starting to set up and then like they they go jump the gun and take him out. So here we go, Super Slasher is ready to battle. So this is a best two out of three. Um, here we go, right here, Tempest, Trash, and I see we have a deck list submitted, we have Super Slasher ready to battle, and we are about to begin. Um, oh, I love your outfit, dude. I love your outfit, dude. 
So here we go, we are started. Now there should be a, uh, <laughs> Gia, what's that mean? So I will go first here. Good luck, that's what he's saying. Um, should I type back real fast? I don't know. So this is a uh, unlimited time, I'm gonna say, because we have unlimited time. Ooh, uh, it's hard to decide whether or not to put that up front or not, uh, simply because I want a max elixir to it. Um, but we do not. I, I just I despise putting the lele up front so much. I only play one in here. And look at this. It's like making us. It's making us. Uh, go after Lele here right away. Okay, we'll do this explosive start thingy. We're going to grab a Lily, because I think we have one. We have a Lily. Here she is right here. But what are we missing? We have our Troubleshoes, we have our Garbodors, Celestila, we have all of our monsters, we are, have our two elixirs in our hand, all of our treasures, all of our spaces, one Fighting Fury Belt is missing, a couple energies are missing but we have a couple in our hand um, so I think we're missing an energy I don't know what all we're missing I think we're missing draw supporters actually so we definitely don't want to throw away any like this Cynthia here and you know what we're just gonna like we're gonna go ham here dang it <laughs> there we go we got one there Second one here, we can Lily for six more cards. No energy over there yet, so there's no point. And next turn, we can definitely attack, I'm going to say. Uh, so we'll just pause it there, I think, and pass it on to this Super Slasher. And keep facing off against them. Oh, I love it. I was... I guessed on the, the placement of the Team Winning In logo, and it lined up perfectly where I wanted it to. That is great. So I'm going to make sure I stay hydrated during this match. This is best of two out of three. Um, we're supposed to take screenshots of the victory screen or the defeat screen. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm technically technologically inept for my age. Uh, so I don't know the keyboard shortcut for that. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do, since I'm recording, I'm just going to snip it later. So he gets a Lele. He is going for an N. I don't know why I was hovering over Lily there. But I was just hovering over Lily. And us down to six cards. But I like the cards in my hand. I like the cards in my hand. But we might get lucky, we might get another one of those max elixirs, and then we can just like go ham with our Dusk Man. We do get another max elixir, and they could throw out a uh, Brooklet Hill. And they're ready to start battling with their uh, their Buzz Holio up here. So we're going to go ahead and throw down the trouble. We get a max elixir hit, that's great. And I wish, I wish I had the Guzma right now. Um, we only play one Lele, so we've used up that Lele. We cut down one from before. <coughs> we have two Guzmas in the deck that are not accessible right now. So this kind of makes it difficult because we got to figure out a way to knock out Baby Buzzhole and not set off Big Buzzhole. Um, hmm. I get Claw Slash. That's a two hit. That might be the best option. We have no energies down here. Okay, so that's important to note as well. Because I did want to get some energies down there. Yeah, we're just going to have to go with it. Oh, I guess... That might have been a misplay. I could have grabbed this guy and did some damage to the bench right there. That would have been smarter than what I've just done. 
I already attached my energy, which means I'm in a pickle. But I still think Celesteela is going to be useful in this match, so I kind of want to get that out on the board as soon as possible. So, I mean, that missed, missed opportunity there, of course. But I think... Looks like we might survive this. Uh, yes. Look at this. We're hitting our elixirs. It's like we're pros at this or something. Um, did I lay down Trubbish this turn or last turn? I'm really curious now. Drew Float. Uh, metal to Book of the Hill. Put Trubbish onto the bench. Put some trouble onto the bench this turn. So we're going to save that for next turn. Get that Garber locked down next turn. Uh, but this turn we're going to have to go ahead up with our Dusk main and just Meteor Tempest to get the baby Buzz Holio out of here. And we get our Fury Bell. I like Fury Bell. It looks great on a Celesteela. That's really like my like my main thing. I love I love Fear Belt on Celesteela. <coughs> Cause it gives it the two hundred and forty HP. Hits for a hundred and forty or hundred and ninety with that GX. So we might want to save our GX for Celesteela if we can. I actually think we might do that with the uh, Prism Star right now. We might just retreat Prism Star, get all those those three energy just four energies back that we have into the discard pile. We'll probably only put three or two on Celesteela and put the other two on uh, Duskmane. So we have two attackers like ready set up. And they're stopping. Uh, so now I'm just going to go ham on that. Uh, those things. Those things I just said about. Those things I talked about. I'm going to go ham on them. We're going to go ahead and grab a little baby Duskmane. Uh, I have too many options, guys. Too many options. Uh, since they're not throwing away our uh, Ultra Space, we will. To grab that Garbodor. Now, this is going to be what everyone says is a really weird inclusion. But you see, it's not slowing me down. It's not slowing me down at all. So I'm not... Not worried about it. Uh, since they are giving me a free turn... With this Tapu Lele, I'm going to go ahead and take it. Um, I think the question is whether or not to throw down this Dusk main. I want to leave that spot in case they get that beast energy, I think. So we're going to go ahead and Radiant Star here. Four of those energies back. And look, we could have got a fifth one. We're going to probably do two. And two. That way, you know, we're, we're an energy drop from either guy. So we have three of our float stones out though, which is a little little worrisome, I will say. They're in a Guzma. Which guy are they scared of? They're probably scared of the Garbodor, right? Nope. Okay, they are going after the Dusk main. And just gonna go ahead and, and go go full throttle with that to get uh to get things. I am so sorry. I'm just going to say that right now. So sorry. Uh, since I have it, might as well throw down this on it. Yeah, that's fine. And we have the four energies in here. Like we weren't going to put them there. Uh... Because I don't want to, I don't want to throw it away. More useful there than anywhere else. We even get the DCE. Nice, nice. Uh, we don't have any psychic types we really want to grab unless we want Trubbish out here. But Trubbish is not necessary out here. And there's nothing we can grab with Alter Space. There is something we can grab with Alter Space. Yeah. So the question is, Trubbish or not? Uh, but unless they knock him out, I don't foresee them doing anything to that Trubbish. And if they knock him out, I don't want to put a Fighting Fury Belt on it. So Dusk Main is probably the best option here. We didn't hit the Beast Ring, but that's not a problem. We still have, you know, our nice 
little prism star up and about uh, to be able to do some things. But for this, we are just going to blast our GX. Because, because it's a clean knockout. And look at this. Uh, we get two of these. We're going to probably grab a Guzma because I don't think we have one in our hand. We do have one in our hand, but we can kind of just... We, we want our other one. And we might as well grab the Beast Energy because we're going to be able to hit for more damage with that, I believe. Uh, yeah, let's grab the Beast. They're most likely going to end us now. We both have giant hands, and they know I have a Guzma and as one of those cards. Because I just showed off my, my prizes. So, I mean... What I gotta watch out for in this deck is to not use Blade uh, GX. When you use Blade GX against Buzzhole, like you, it just it puts you down a little bit. Um, I have a real bad habit of that because I don't really have a strong early game attacker, except for uh, Baby Duskmane. Uh, unless I throw away a lot of energies and Radiant Star, but uh, because of that, it's a real struggle early game to uh, to get those. Um, get the ball rolling and so I try to blade GX and it usually bites me in the foot but beast energies beast rings are gonna be huge right now um, the question is can they get the other one they still have the Garbo lock does he play a field blower because right now Celesteela is a monster sitting at 240 HP uh, 240 HP is what Celesteela has, and you just saw me hit for 190 with Blaster GX. Unfortunately, Moon Press can't do that. It's only going to hit for 140. Uh, but still, they got it. They got the strong. They got the strong. But 160, 190, 210, we're still saved. We're still saved by the uh, Fighting Fury Belt. I'm gonna be able to set this up so that uh, little dust shotter here can can do the do the do's. Uh, how many? We have three energy in the discard. So once Celesteela goes down, we're definitely going into Sogolio. Um, but I think we're just gonna chip for damage here. Moon press to get damage on this. Yeah, they're worried about this guy. He's not the threat. He is not the threat. Um, I'm just going to say that outright, that he is not the threat. Uh, see, I want to put that beast energy down, but I know I, I shouldn't. I feel like this is the better option. Oh, that's right. I can totally Guzma this turn and just take something out, maybe. Is there something I can just, like, take out? No, no, not really. I don't have that many energies on board just yet. All right, so I could retreat. 130 does put me on even prizes if I take out the DNC. Let's do that. We'll go into our Garbo. Go into our trash bag, which is a good pivot to go back into Celesteela. We actually have not attached an energy yet. Let me make sure I do that before I go all out. Um, I think we're going to sit on this guy here. I kind of believe he can finish the game for us. I think he can finish the game for us. We're going to go ahead and take out the anti though. Get our price trade down to even numbers. Um, I think we want energies more than uh, trash bags. Oh, he actually only jet punched us there, didn't he? Wait, no, he couldn't have. Yeah, I could have. Okay, he jet punched us there, and we had the resistance of twenty. So he's trying to set up us as a knockout. We have one hundred and eighty HP left now. And so he has to hit 200 to knock out Celesteela. They got the 
180. So this is a close matchup now. Uh, no, nah, I'm actually gonna put this guy up here. It doesn't matter who I pivot off of, I just get a pivot. So part of me is like, grab that other Trubbish. Because one, two, three, four, five, six is enough to knock that out. Part of me wants to grab that other Trubbish. I think I do grab that other Trubbish. Cartana, you're blocked. Threaten that we have more than one. I think here, and uh, how many energies we have in here? We have like a ton in here, don't we? Seven. So we're just gonna like flood the board with energy right now. That sounds like a good idea. So we're gonna go ahead and make Lele an attacker. Oh my god, can I do that? That's hilarious. We could offensive bomb here after I, s you know, so Galea. Um, so I gotta watch out. He might have a Guzma here. That's the one thing to watch out for. Otherwise, I should be dusk shotting. I might still want to Guzma here, actually. Give him something that he can't retreat. Yeah, I think I do. I think I want to Guzma something that can't retreat. Decide who I want the energy on. I could probably just put it on this guy and attack the Regirock. Could hit him for what, 130? Yeah, I could hit him for 130. 60, 130, that's enough. So I guess that's the question, is to like threaten him with more or uh, the knockout on this guy? It's a personal call, I guess. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's threaten him with... Like, no matter what, if he gets a Guzma, he's, uh, he's coming after us. Let's threaten him with everybody. Yeah, let's threaten him with everybody. Just Radiant Star for five. Uh, so let's go ahead and put a bunch on him. Four on him. Yeah, I should do one on him, but I don't really want to because I have Beast. So four on him, and let's go with the fifth one on uh, Lele. So I could have set up an offensive bomb. That's something you don't see too often, so that would have been very interesting, actually. We still have two more matches after this to see who gets out of the first round. So he needs a uh, field blower, Guzma, any of those cards. Could have a Lele in his hand, but Garbodor is blocking him. Okay, so I think we're, we've put enough pressure on him uh, maybe that turn, it was unnecessary to do that. I could have went ahead and uh, blocked them with uh, the Dusk main. Not sure what he's doing right now. Looking in his deck to see what he has. Got a notification. Looks like everybody is doing their matches tonight. Everyone's doing their matches tonight. He gets a Sycamore. So he's searching for that float. Does he get the float? Float gets him a clean knockout here. Is 
but he's not going to be able to Guzma, which protects our Lele and our uh, our Duskmane. He does get the float. Nice. He does get the float. Putting the Rock Ruff in the active. And trying to stall us. Okay, trying to stall us. That makes me wonder. Wait, why can't I put the hit? No, never mind. Uh, how many Guzmas we have left? We can tell from this we have one. So we could Sycamore and search for that Guzma for game, but Sycamoring means you can't play your Guzma. Hmm, interesting. So we could take this one prize, but then that sets him up to take that next prize. Very, very clever. Now, is this the only, the active? Provides every type of energy you ever need. Do 30 more damage to the active Pokemon. Yeah, so that's only the active. But that's where we're going next, is going to be attacking with uh, this guy. And I think he must have his Guzma, that's my best guess. We do not have our Guzma. We'll get Sycamore for it, but it would be next turn. How much HP does he have right now? I could give him 200 HP, which is a little harder to hit. That might be a good idea. Let's give him 200 HP. Make it where this guy is a monster. Retreat and Cynthia. We'll see where I'm going with this in a second. Let's not give him any more options there. Might as well. We don't need to, but might as well. play out the cards we have. So, Duskmane goes ahead and knocks out this. Yeah, these are just pulling things out of our deck now. Doesn't matter. <laughs> just grab one. Just grab one. It doesn't matter. Um, unless I had a Ninja Boy, that's the only way it matter. So we're actually going to Claw Slash here. Take out this rock rough and grab uh, that trash. That very dangerous trash. Another strong, another Guzma to take out the Lele. He takes the game! He steals it right from under me. Right from under me. Well played. Steals it right from under me. Very well played. So, I mean, we can look at his deck. It's pretty standard, I'm assuming. I don't know if this is cheating or not. Maybe I'm going to get disqualified here. But yeah, everybody loves this this baby, baby buzz hole deck. Plays three baby buzz holes. Ah. <sighs> All right, I gotta win the next two. I gotta win the next two, otherwise I'm going to lose this bracket, guys. And look at this, he's ready. He's ready right now. Um, let me make sure I click the right deck, though. He's just ready to jump right into the next one. He saw what my deck can do. He's like, what I gotta watch out for is this, this, and this. So this is where maybe experience comes in. He might be, he might actually go to events. I've never been to an event. So this is where, like, maybe that not choosing that, like, that play was the bad choice. I don't know. It worked out in my head. Uh, we're going to start this one off with Trubbish, though. Some trouble. But what can, uh, most of these things have two retreat costs, right? 
most of these boss holes have two or three costs, which means Celesteela, which is interesting with Ultra Space, can probably hit for uh, 30, 60, 90, 90 straight up, uh, which I kind of like. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Celesteela, I think. And attach that DCE. And we can't throw away both of our Garbos. Uh, so we're just going to Cynthia here. Can't throw away both of our trash bags. Go ahead and get Celesteela ready. There we go. And we got Tapu Lele for the retreat fun things next turn. If they uh, if they end up throwing down a Buzzhole GX, which we're kind of baiting them to with the Ultra Space anyways. Then um, they did. So they're getting two Buzzholes down, so we're taking one of those next turn. This is a perfect, perfect reason to, I guess. The only problem with this is we're kind of setting up Beast Ring immediately, which is scary, I'm going to say. Uh, set up Beast Ring immediately is, is a very scary thing. Especially if they draw into him right here. Which they probably did. Cynthia's a lot of cards. They got to do all that and then Cynthia? I just had the Cynthia. I had two trash bags. I couldn't do anything with that. I was holding the, holding the trash bag and I was like, oh, I can't do anything. Oof. They're showing their... Like, these decks are very similar, actually. It's just that that's a three energy attacker. Mine are four energy attackers. Hmm. 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 What do we want to do here? I am kind of scared of their beast rings, I'm not going to lie. Uh, they have four cards left. Two of them could be beast rings. If they are, we're going to put ourselves in a hole if we end up grabbing that Guzma. But what else could we grab with uh, Tapu Lele here? Lily too late. A little, a Lily too late. And uh, Sycamore. We do have the Garbo trash bag there. And I kind of want to end too because that way we get... We can't end because that gives them more cards. So we could Sycamore here. That gets rid of too many cards. So we can Moon Press here. <laughs> Take out the Hansi. I think that's what we're doing. We don't want to leave him at that, uh, that prize threshold. So we're just going to put instant pressure on here and bring up, uh, ooh, or Buzzhole. Which one do Buzzhole or Deancy? Buzzhole or Deancy? Well, I think Deancy puts him over the threshold to knock out Celesteela, so that's why I don't want him to be able to do that. If I would have had the Fury Belt, I would have probably uh, went ahead and uh, attached it and taken on a puzzle. But I'm hoping for the for the Fury Belt this turn. Sorry, I always do that. I always like leave it on the NC so we can watch the NC. We have Regirac. Now they hit for 160, 180, 190. Or that. Or just GX off the bat. We're going to swing back with Lele, I think. Ooh, actually. <laughs> guess what we can swing back with? Uh, we can swing back with Celesteela, maybe. This is playing so weird right now. So weird. This is playing so weird right now. He has three, otherwise I would. We gotta get rid of that. Um, just gonna check in. We have all four of our float stones. Let's go ahead and Cynthia, it's more cards. Mm. 
None of our float stones. Are you kidding me, man? Second trouble. Uh, ugh. We can, uh, we can bring you out next turn, but not this turn. Darn. Uh, so they'll be up four prizes. Nope, they won't. I think we lost this already. How many prizes have you played? One, two, three, four. It's 80. It's not enough. I don't want to give him any more targets, but uh, he already has the targets down here. Um, unless I'm putting energy on you, I don't want to put you down, though. Yeah, we're threatening the, the lock here. I can't believe it. I'm going to lose this Lele now. Because he didn't have anything else on the bench. I'm gonna give it well played now. Like this is just it's this deck is too stupid for my deck. Literally put in a counter card that has done nothing for me. So I, I really should not I should not have played around on that first game. First game I like let him have it. Bloodthirsty eyes, bring us along her on. You don't wanna do that though. Like, you got knocked out on Lele. Why would you do that? It's not enough. I don't think it is. It might be just enough. Just enough. I might as well concede here. I'll show you where my only bet here is now. I <laughs> get it. That's funny. Like there's nothing I can do here. I'm like I'm out of luck. I'm just out of luck here. Now I'm panicked too, so I'm just like, I need a card, I need this card. Hey man, freaking A. <coughs> We're putting a floatstone on the wrong Garbodor, I'm gonna say. We might as well throw you down and get rid of an energy. Let's see, let's see if we can like slowly get our way back here. I don't think we can. I think I'm out of luck here. Not that I had any to begin with. <clears throat> he already took me out of uh, beast ringing too. I guess the active, right? Nothing's gonna hit him for that damage though. We'll do that. So he's got to retreat that one anyways. I guess I should have put it on the other one. So I could have just one knocked out. Uh, you have a good deck. This is stupid. I don't like facing Buzzhole. Let's get Broken Heart, man. First game. He stole. Got the, stole, the stolen first game. And just... Got me real fast in the second one. Good job, Celestia. You're the MVP. Without that Garbo lock, you're susceptible to that boosting damage. Gah! So frustrating. So there it is. Victorious. I wish you best of luck, uh, Super Slasher, in the winner's bracket. I will be headed down to the loser's bracket where I hopefully don't go 0-2 oh, in this tournament. Uh, I want to thank Team Winning and for hosting this thing. It's been great. Uh, despite the salt. <laughs> so I do wish all my all the other people in the tournament the best of luck. And I hope to see some people in the losers bracket. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys Alola. And I hope to see you on another video. Bye bye.